Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, appreciate you joining us today. My name is Clay Bowman. I'm the Director of Business Development for TAC Insight, and I'm accompanied today by BJ Lush. Just a quick background on myself. I've been in the construction materials business, specifically in software, for uh, about 20 years. I've been selling software and consulting uh, companies just like yourself for that amount of time. And I want to welcome you to the webinar. We actually have a, a few of our customers. Many of our customers have joined this webinar to learn a little bit about e-ticketing and going paperless. And um, uh, we also have some uh, potential customers that have joined us or, or some of you that might be interested in what TAC Insight is doing with e-ticketing. I'd also like to introduce BJ Lusk, who is a regional sales manager for TAC Insight. BJ, would you please uh, introduce yourself? Hey, everybody. As Clay said, I'm BJ Lusk, um, Regional Sales Manager for, for TAC Insight and Fastway. A uh, little bit of background on me. I, I worked in a quarry here in North Alabama for 11 years, started out in the scale house and then worked my way up to the, to the main office and, and did a little bit of everything in between. One of the things that I did when I was there is we, we were searching for a new uh, ticketing software and we came across Fastway. So I was in charge of the implementation process with Fastway. So we implemented Fastway, uh, started using it, and it just totally revolutionized the way we did business. And I fell in love with it, fell in love with the people so much that I knew I just had to, to work for the company and represent the product, talk to the owners. They were gracious enough to, to bring me on, and here I am today, uh, just loving every minute of it. Thanks, BJ. And, and BJ is going to be facilitating some of the demonstration of the e-ticket platform for us a little bit later in the presentation. So um, thanks for being here, BJ. He brings a, a lot of expertise uh, to, to the table when he's consulting with customers like yourself. So a little bit of, uh, of overview. Uh, we're going to be going over e-ticketing in general. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the paperless uh, transactions that, that, that we do here at Fastway. We're going to get into the current proof of delivery methods because there are many. Uh, we'll discuss DOT compliance and we'll also, uh, again, give you a preview of the Fastway e-ticketing platform. So with that said, uh, there's going to be a lot of information. We're going to try to keep the tempo going here for you. We know your time is valuable. If you have any questions, we'd be, ha we'd be happy to have a session here at the end for questions and answers. So moving on. So let me tell you a little bit about Fastway. Folks don't, they generally don't understand the difference between the two. So Tech Insight is the holding company for a piece of software called Fastway. Uh, TAC, TAC, T -A -C, is transportation, aggregate, and construction. So TAC Insight, and then the product itself is Fastway. Now, <clears throat> Fastway is a scale and ticketing and bulk material management system. It's actually been in the marketplace for over 30 years, and but we've reinvented it, okay? So it used to be a client server-based platform uh, where it was installed on a server and deployed, you know, company-wide at different scale locations in that, in that business model. Um, it is a, but today it's changed. So some years ago, about five years ago, the owners of the company decided in order to stay relevant and have a, a really interesting position moving forward in the marketplace, it was time to reinvent the software. And that's exactly what we did. We reinvented Fastway as a vertically integrated platform uh, from the ground up, coded in the web, coded in, Microsoft, in a Microsoft Azure model. That's our delivery method. And it covers all types of facets of your operation from ticketing, uh, financial and accounting, and it's very important to mention our expertise in that arena. Uh, we are a top-tier integration uh, partner with uh, Viewpoint construction software, uh, and, and what that means is that not only in the Viewpoint world, but in other worlds such as NetSuite, uh, JD Edwards, and other platforms, the, the data lives simultaneously in your ERP. So whether you're pricing projects over time, whether you have specific accounting functionality and quoting functionality in your ERP, all of that can live uh, simultaneously in Fastway. And the beauty is our RESTful APIs. So if you don't know what that means, it's, it's, it's web jargon, right? It's the most modern way of sharing data across platforms. So we, we do all this very well and we orchestrate it and execute it uh, precisely. 
Uh, we handle dispatching. We have a full suite of mobile apps. We have uh, Android and Apple-based mobile apps for management. Uh, we can automate your truck, the trucking side of your business. And even the 3PL side can be automated. And everybody has access to the information in Fastway. So uh, it truly is a modern platform. Uh, we have a, an analytics platform that's built in Microsoft Power BI, and uh, it's fantastic as well. And of course, e-ticketing. Uh, again, we're a web-based cloud solution. So the way I kind of look at the product itself, if you look into the horizon and you look in the marketplace, there are key uh, point of sale applications that are available to you. The problem is, is if you want to do other things, such as maybe you want to automate uh, the fleet with a GPS system uh, or an app-based system. That's a completely different product that you're going to have to go investigate and add to your current system. Uh, maybe uh, the e-ticketing is a perfect example where you're going to have to consider you know, purchasing another product now to, to give you this functionality. But we kind of joke around here at Fastway and we make fun a little bit because we say that Fastway was e-ticketing before e-ticketing was cool. Uh, we say that because look, all of you have an electronic ticket that exists. I mean, before you print a ticket, it's electronic. So you have to convey that electronic ticket into a printer and deliver it to the end user. So why can't you just move that, that, that ticket data wherever you want? Why can't your customers have instant access to that ticket data or your drivers or your third party haulers or whoever needs it, maybe a DOT agent. So that's the beauty of Fastway. That's the beauty of the platform itself. So we'll go over a little bit the, uh, the, the overview of, of the topics here. We're gonna define e-ticketing. We're gonna go through the aspects of e-ticketing and the process. And of course, an e-ticket is a producer generated digital copy of a ticket, just like I mentioned. And it needs to be signable or viewable in various electronic modes of delivery. Uh, there are various uh, proof of delivery methods available to you in the marketplace. Uh, these include Bluetooth, geofencing, and uh, of course, app-based tools as well. And there's going to be pros and cons associated with all of those methods. So there's a lot to talk about there. We're going to get into DOT compliance. And regarding DOT compliance, you know, we've had a lot of talks with a lot of DOT agencies across the country uh, over the past year and a half or so. And what's interesting, and I kind of, I want to be careful here, but I do compare this to the FCMSA mandate for ELD in that nobody could really make up their mind initially what it needed to be or how it needed to be administered. And so we're kind of having the same issues here where various states have various methods that they want you to follow. For instance, in some states, they don't want the DOT agent to have any interaction at all uh, with even pushing a button or a app on, his, on their own phone. So it has to be completely automated and completely uh, non-interactive. So there's a lot to consider, you know, I'm, depending on what state you're in, you might want to get involved at that state level to, to make sure that you're, you're being a part of that process. So what makes Fastway different is that, again, we're built in the cloud. So regardless of having a legacy-based scale and ticketing system, and when I say legacy, let me clarify that, you know, a server environment where you're managing a server, multiple PCs, network infrastructure, uh, connectivity to a central office, database server management, all of that, that heading disappears with Fastway, it's just gone. And you're now operating in the Microsoft Azure cloud. But with that said, if you're using a third-party system and you wanna get your tickets, you know, it really doesn't matter to Fastway where it's generated. As long as it's an electronic ticket, we can transfer that to the Fastway cloud and give you all of the functionality that I mentioned previously. So again, because of the architecture of the Fastway e-ticketing platform and cloud system, 
you have a very unique ability to take our product and actually add it to your legacy system now. And that gives you the flexibility to migrate to a vertical platform like Fastway now, but then in the future, potentially convert your entire operation to a modern platform. So let's talk about the life of an e-ticket. So it always starts with the producer. Somebody has to produce the ticket generally. And uh, that data is then stored in a local database. Uh, for instance, you might be running a SQL server and that's where your ticket resides. Perhaps it's at the scale house itself. And that's where the ticket resides. Regardless of where the ticket resides, Fastway has the very easy capability of capturing that ticket data and facilitating its use in an electronic environment. So uh, from the beginning, most producers already have electronic ticket data, as we've mentioned earlier. So an e-ticket is now sent from that local database to a secondary system generally. But with Fastway, it's vertical. Right. So if you're if you're a Fastway customer and I'm speaking to you now, then when you create that digital ticket in Fastway, that digital ticket now exists in your system and you can use these tools that I'm talking about to facilitate an e-ticket model in your business. Now, if you don't have Fastway, that's OK, because you can still take advantage of all of the uh you could take advantage of everything that Fastway has to offer on the application side, the app side, even if you're using a separate database system. So there are other dispatching and truck-based softwares that could be layered on top uh, like Fastway, but there's many, there's many ways to achieve the end result. Uh, with Fastway though, if you're a scale and ticketing uh, business, or a quarry or a mining business, it makes a lot of sense to consider Fastway simply because uh, that migration to move to a modern platform is uh, very interesting indeed. Uh, so then we're gonna get into proof of delivery. You, you gotta verify that the load that you ticketed got delivered. So proof of delivery is gonna be very important. So let's talk about that for just a minute. The purpose of POD is to verify the material was delivered to a project. So. POD systems should provide the following information, where, what time, who, what material and quantity was delivered, were there any expect exceptions or problems with the delivery, maybe there, there was a contaminated load, uh, perhaps there was something that happened at the job site that needed to be documented, this needs to be able, your, the, the platform that you're using needs to be able to take care of that and facilitate that process. How long did it take between load pickup and load delivery? Uh, other delivery information needs to be able to be captured, such as inspector signature. Uh, maybe an image of the contaminated material would be nice and have that attached to the actual ticket so that everybody could reference it as, 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 as the process moves forward. Uh, what about the ability to analyze real-time project quantities and material reports? Uh, would it be nice to give your contractors and your DOT agents the ability, you know, in an app to see progress, to understand what's been delivered just this morning or what's left to be delivered on this particular project? So with the Fastway apps and, uh, and products, you can do that. Uh, also, uh, maybe optional GPS tracking to actually get down to the breadcrumb trail of, of the entire process. So key proof of delivery features, um, you know, we can capture longitude and latitude, latitude coordinates of every delivery location. That's gonna be very important. Um, the delivery timestamp, uh, hauler and truck documentation, material type and specification, uh, material quantity in tons, pounds and metric tons, depending on where you're doing business. We, we, have, we might have some of our new Canadian customers with us today on this webinar. Welcome to the Fastway family. Uh, we really appreciate your business and all of your business, by the way. But uh, uh, what about time elapsed between loadout and delivery? All of this is important because uh, as, as, as business owners and business operators, you know, the logistics of inbound, outbound, and delivery efficiency are more important than ever. And if you're trying to achieve these results 
by implementing legacy platforms or platforms that might be legacy that have um, maybe newer types of solutions that have to be bolted into them, you know, you're really losing a little bit there or maybe quite a lot as opposed to a system that was built from the ground up to do this. So how can we verify the delivery? There's, for our sake, we sat down as a team and we talked about this. We believe there's four paperless proof of delivery methods. Now there might be more and, and it's a debatable, but here's, here's what we felt the top four were. So you have the DOT inspector or the project uh, manager himself at the job site via a mobile application. You know, he's verifying, he's accepting those loads. That's one way, perhaps the driver. So uh, I've been in the industry a long time and we all kind of, you know, have a laugh or two about the driver pressing buttons, especially in the ReadyMix world. But the driver certainly can use the Fastway app. And because it's so easy, it doesn't really allow him to move to the next step, especially when he knows that he has to do these steps in order to get the ticket where it needs to go. So not only can he view it later in his own app, oh, last week, here are all the tickets I did on this day, but then I'll obviously to get paid. Uh, what about telematics systems? So there could be automated load tracking from pickup to project site using your telematics system. Um, I've worked for a couple of tel telematics companies in my career. I worked for Tremble Construction Logistics and Cortex. And I can tell you that, uh, you know, like, for instance, the Cortex solution, they have a very definitive um, integrated app in their uh, environment um, that, that you can add other applications to. Uh, folks like Digital Fleet as well have this ability to just open up their uh, their application to things like the Fastway application, and that's that's going to be powerful in the future because you know we need to work together as an industry. You know, if we're trying to guard our fence and protect our turf, that's not the future of this modern technology. The future of modern technology is the big data and the movement of data where you need it to go when you need it to go there. So that is the future. Um, and then finally, we're going to get into a little bit about the Bluetooth beacon. It's pretty cool. It works. We use it. And uh, it's a great technology. Pretty easy to install as well. So I'll just go over these. We're going to make this, this PowerPoint available to you. But to, to just get down to the nitty gritty, a ticket's uh, created by the producer. This is a POD via DOT inspector. So the ticket's created by the producer. The ticket's sent to the cloud. The inspector or worker pulls up the e-ticket at the project delivery site, and then he verifies via the mobile app that everything has been transacted properly. So pretty, pretty straightforward. You also have the driver validation using an app, same way, except it, it's an in-cab app. And he might even be able to, you know, with the Fastway app, he might even be able to uh, hit the directions to the job site. You get the breadcrumb trails. I mean, it depends on how far you want to take it. But if you just want normal proof of delivery, they can do that as well. I think that's what VJ is going to show you today is kind of just the straightforward proof of delivery piece. Um, getting into telematics, again, as I mentioned, you know, can can your e-ticket solution coexist with your telematic solution? And I would say that in the industry specific side of telematics that, that, that you know, if you're using two, those two products that I might've mentioned or others, you know, you now have an open gateway to, to be able to utilize a fast way ticketing solution uh, in your telematics system, especially with the tablet interfaces. So that's, that's really where that's going to shine. And then Bluetooth. And so let's go over this a little bit. So the truck is equipped with a low energy Bluetooth beacon, very simple to install. Uh, an outdoor Bluetooth gateway is installed at the delivery site, maybe on the paver or something like that. And the gateway is going to read the truck beacon as it arrives in range. And usually it's about 50 to 300 feet. But what this will do, at least in the Fastway system, is it will automatically mark that as a delivered load and it will transact that information to everyone appropriately. So it's kind of a hands-off solution. And again, going back to the DOT uh, discussion from earlier, depending on your state, you might need a solution like this. 
So a little bit more about the Bluetooth delivery ver verification. Um, there's an, a sample of the beacons themselves. And then of course, right there is on the tablet or whoever the, the inspector is, he could be using a tablet or, or his phone. He's gonna have direct access to this information. So what we did is we, we did a little uh, pros and cons graph here for your consideration. And again, the presentation will be available to you. I won't dig into this too much, but we kind of go through uh, several of these where we, 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 we try to say, okay, is it relatively economical? Is it an app-based solution? How easy is it to set up? And so from the inspector-based, driver-based, telematics and Bluetooth, you at least have some menu to choose from here to understand what you're faced with. So hope that's helpful to you. So we're adjusting to an unprecedented time. You know, we had the DOT re regulations and these really have come about because of COVID-19 um, and the state legislation. It reminds me of the state of Washington, I believe it was one of the very first states to mandate this uh, as, as, as law. So I think that we will see this in the future Again, uh, it's going to vary from state to state. And wh what I think you need to be aware of is that this could be an ever-changing environment. It could be one of those situations where we, you need a platform or a technology partner that can rapidly innovate, someone that can uh, move the technology on the fly and I would say anyone that is web-based, web-enabled, and built from the ground up vertically is that solution. So, you know, user safety in the COVID-19 era, this going paperless is just the future. It's kind of like Zoom. I was talking to a customer uh, just this week, and he said, Clay, I think we're all Zoomed out. Well, I mean, I think we all are. I would love to get back in the quarries. I would love to come back to the ReadyMix plants and, and, and pay you guys more visits. Uh, get that human element, uh, but obviously things have changed. Uh, so we want to be, uh, we want to have a technology that's going to meet all those needs. And then of course, taking advantage of the cloud. You need a, you need a system with all access to uh, all device access, whether it's in the web, if you're on vacation and you're a business owner and you need some immediate uh, access to information, you got it. Um, Real-time data, uh, as it comes across the scale, automated backups. And by the way, uh, this is an interesting topic I do want to talk about just for a second. Years and years ago, I sat down with an IT director of a major company and we were having a talk. And I asked her, you know, what do you think about the cloud? This was about a decade ago. And she said, <clears throat> well, I'm not a big fan of it, but, um, you know, it's going to change the way we do business in 10, 10 years. So here we are 10 years later, and I'm just so proud to be a part of this process. So with that said, I want to hand it over to my friend, BJ, uh, BJ Lusk. Uh, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Um, appreciate it, Clay. I thank everybody again for taking some time to be with us today. I just realized that I'm very yellow and orange in color. I don't know what happened, but you shouldn't be looking at me anyway. You should be looking at the screen. So, but, uh, so I, I want to talk a little bit about e-ticketing and proof of delivery within the Fastway e ecosystem. So with our system, and a lot of you are customers, so you're very familiar with our web portal, but uh, with, with our system, you're going to have this web portal. Uh, and Clay mentioned that it's, it's web-based. So wherever you are, you're going to be able to log into this web portal. It's a very powerful web portal. And I'll show you just a glimpse of it here in just a minute. But in that web portal, you're going to be able to do a lot of things. And one of the things you're going to be able to do is to view and analyze ticket data on any device. Clay mentioned any device. If you're a business owner and you're out on vacation, you didn't need to look at something. You're going to have those mobile apps that you can see your information on. You're going to have your computer. You're going to be able to see your information on. So wherever you are, whatever device, you're going to have that information. Any changes that we make automatically sync down to the mobile apps. So if you're changing a ticket, if you're changing an order, if you're changing this, that, or whatever, that information automatically syncs down to those mobile apps. So there's no manual process that has to be done there. Again, web-based customer access, uh, wherever you are, if you've got access to the internet, you can see all this information in real time. And then also too, you're gonna to be able to export your ticket data to any platform. Uh, you know, Clay mentioned the APIs, we can certainly uh, 
push that ticket data to through APIs to whatever platform, but also too, when you talk about just reporting, um, Excel, PDF, whatever, we can export that information wherever we need to go. And then DOT compliance. So that's a, another big topic. And, and every DOT that we've talked to, they do it just a little bit differently. So we're staying on top of things, trying to make sure that we comply with each specific state's DOT um, requirements. And so what we offer with, with our system is this instant mobile documentation. Okay, so you've got all the mobile doc the documents you need. We offer it instantly in a mobile format. But also, too, you're going to be able to see the loads in route. So we, we know the DOT inspector or the person on site, they know uh, what loads are, are headed their way. And then also, too, obviously, electronic copies of every ticket. And as Clay mentioned, we create digital tickets uh, with our system first, and then it's up to you whether or not you print it. It's not the other way around. So what about proof of delivery? Okay, so proof of delivery, it's all about delivery validation. And whoever does it, if it's the driver, the inspector, the customer, if it's a manual process, if it's automated through Bluetooth beacons or through geofencing or whatever it is, it's all about the delivery validation. We've got to make sure that that load made it to the job site. So with our proof of delivery, uh, we, we give you the ability to accept or reject loads. We're going to timestamp when the material was received, geostamp where the material was received, identify who it was. We can give you an image capture. We can take a picture. Maybe a load's bad. We need to document that. We can take a picture, a signature of the person receiving the load, and then a place for additional notes or comments if we need to put those on there. Okay. Real-time project reporting. This is a, a pretty neat screen to look at. It kind of gives you a, a, a snapshot of a lot of different ways we can give you this real-time reporting with up-to-date job quantities. So you can see we can do it on the phone. Uh, in that background there, you see the little charts and graphs. So we've got our analytics module that Clay talked about. We can, we can give you access to this information and you can see this real-time data, uh, but also to just, I don't, I don't want to say basic reporting because our reporting is very robust, but if it's just a report you just want to spit out, like that ticket detail report, we can do that too. So we give you a lot of different ways to keep up to date in real time with your job, uh, job quantities. So BJ, I think you're going to jump into the software now, right? Yeah. yeah okay. So I'll stop my share. Okay. Get mine here, make sure I get the right thing shared. Okay, that coming through okay, Clay? Looks good. Okay, good deal. So what you're seeing here, this is our mobile management app. This is where we're going to do, and, and again, this is the manual process. We do have the Bluetooth beacons, the geofencing processes as well, but this is the manual process that we're gonna talk about. So this is our mobile management app. And anybody, I'll, I'll mention this, anybody can have access to this app. If it's your production people, if it's your customers, DOT, truck drivers, they all can have access to this app. And in the home screen here, it just gives you a, a dashboard view of what's going on. But for the, the e-ticketing purposes, we can click on this ticket tab. So I'm gonna approach this from the inspector, the DOT inspector. Okay, so he's on a job and I'm logged in as an inspector right now and I'm scoped down to just this one specific job, this I-75 widening job. So I can see now all of the tickets that have been created for today on my job. So this is just the e-ticketing part right here. I just need to see the tickets. So um, any ticket I need to find, I can see that ticket here. If I wanna click on it and see an actual copy of the ticket, you can see right there, that's an actual copy of the ticket right there in digital form. Okay, so we have the e-tickets available here on this mobile management app. But if we require that proof of delivery, we can take this one step further, click on this POD tab right here, and we've got these tickets that need to be received. So these are the loads waiting to arrive at the job site. Okay, so when a, job, when a truck comes onto the job site, and we can see this Lusk 5, he comes onto the job site. So we're going to click on that ticket right there. And again, I'm going to be the DOT inspector clicking on the ticket. I can see that uh, he's made it. So I click on the ticket. And, and so you see here, we've got some default terms that we put on there. Uh, I acknowledge receipt of this e-ticket. This is certainly um, editable by you. You can put another, you can put something on there. You don't have to put anything, anything on there. It's totally up to you, okay? Um, and then if we need to put a note in there, we can put a note, um, whatever that may be, a signature, if you wanna have a signature and then a picture right there, you can see that little camera icon if we wanna take a picture, okay? And so to make all of this happen, all we have to do now is just click on this disc in the top right corner, 
click on that disc right there. And that completed the proof of delivery. So we received that load. All right, so I'm gonna do one more time. This is Lusk 99. He's on there. I see him there. I can put my note in here if I need to. There, signature, take a picture. Everything looks good. I'm going to hit save. Now, if we need to reject the load, we can always reject right there just by clicking on the reject button there. We hit accept, everything looks good, and we've received this, this material. So now let's, let's take a look real quick at the web portal. So you can see here, this is our web portal. And for those of you that are, are not Fastway customers, I'll just mention this. This is, you go to this website, you enter your credentials in, you've got access to this web portal. And Clay talked about vertical integration. You can see all the different modules we have up here as a Fastway customer that you could possibly have access to, okay? So it's all everything in one system. This is our web portal. But what I'm scoped down to here specifically is our proof of delivery module, okay? So you can see with our proof of delivery module, I've got it scoped to today and, I, and I've got it for a specific project for this uh, I-75 widening job. And so when I look at this proof of delivery query, I'm gonna be able to see all the loads on that specific project. And then as I scroll over, I can see the ticket data, but also too, here are the loads that have been received. So I've got some loads that have been received, three, and then I've got two that have not been received. So for the loads that have been received, you can see here, I've got this uh, time and date it was received. I, I know who received the material. I can see the total transit time. So it took 85 minutes to get from the plant to the job site for this truck right here. And then I've got this geolocation of where the truck was when he delivered the material. You can see right there. And a copy of the ticket, any pictures we take, we've got cop, uh, a link to that picture right there. Uh, signatures, and then if we take any notes, we've got that uh, that note right there, okay? So this can be done, and then at the end of the day, if we need to export this data to Excel or whatever, we've got this ability here to export this data, but also too, you can run reports or whatever you need to do. So just a lot of different ways. We've got all the data here. We've got a lot of different ways to get this data to where you need it to be. And that is the proof of delivery process within, within Fastway. Thanks, BJ, that was awesome. Did a good job. I know you need to share your, hang on just a second. I forgot I need to stop sharing my screen. There you go. There we go. Let's see here. Okay. So does that, does that look good there, BJ, for everyone? Perfect. Okay. So why e-ticketing now? And uh, so we're going to, uh, DOT regulations. I'm uh, sorry, that's not that's the wrong slide. Here we are. So we're going to do our final final thoughts. E-ticketing is still an evolving process. Uh, the system you choose must be flexible enough to adapt. Um, you know, are you going to be using a vertically integrated cloud platform? And you know, if you are, it's going to save you time and money. It's 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 definitely going to streamline your processes. Uh, you know. The cloud, I just want to leave this note. So there's two audiences we're speaking to today. The first audience might be the Fastway customer. Because you've chosen Fastway already, this functionality is just a step away for you. Adding this functionality when you need it um, is a very simple process. So don't, 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 be, um, don't be overwhelmed by it in any way. If the time comes where where you are forced uh, to to move forward with an e-ticketing solution, rest assured that this is not going to be a major project for you. But I also want to speak to you that might be looking at Fastway for the first time, or perhaps you 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 do have some interest in Fastway. I'm talking to you now. You know, because we are a cloud-based system, choosing us for your e-ticketing solution is just as easy, whereas you're going to give us access to your transactional data. So that's really all we're looking for is the ability to take that digital version of the ticket before you print it and facilitate it into our platform. Now, one of the advantages of that is it kind of gives you a really nice pathway, if you will, to move from your legacy-based system to a modern platform. And if you'd like to talk to us about that, we have plenty of customers that have taken that journey already. And they're always pleasantly surprised at how easy it is to convert to Fastway. So 
Uh, I would say the last thing I would leave with you, and I think this is important when it comes to e-ticketing, get involved on the state level, get involved in your state um, uh, associations, uh, get, get involved in the legislative process of all this because it will impact you. And more than anything, if you're choosing an e-ticket platform, make, make certain that you choose one that has the ability to adapt as these changes come down the pipe. So with that said, again, appreciate you being here. Thanks for taking a few minutes of your day with us. And uh, if we have any questions, uh, we'd like to field those now. So it looks like Clay, it's uh, Kathy asked, where, what's the best place to find out e-ticketing requirements for a specific state? Um, you know, it's, it's, for me, you know, it's, you have to, I don't know that there is a, we found a document at one time on the, um, and I think that's in this presentation, that is in this presentation. Um, it, it, it's not, not, not always easy to find. Uh, one, one person tried to put it all together, but these things are constantly evolving. I think the best place is just to go to the specific DOT website and find the information there. Uh, call, you, you, generally it's the, the materials division that you're gonna be working with, uh, call them and, and try to find out their specific uh, requirements. Thanks, BJ. It looks like there's another one here. What happens if the system goes offline? Um, so uh, what's what's nice about our platform, and that, that's why I do speak to um, the platform itself. It's very important that if you're if you have interest in modernizing your business, that you take a look in its totality at Fastway, because the way that it's been designed, it's been designed by folks who grew up in the industry and that have been writing software for the industry for a long time. So it's, it's, it's actually designed in such a way that being offline doesn't matter at all. So if there's any network interruptions, really with us, it's not network interruptions, but perhaps if you're using a legacy system, then if you had a network interruption or if you're unable to get your data back to the central server, then you know, you're pulling a USB drive out and maybe bringing it in that way. With Fastway, it doesn't work that way. The, the PC could be taken to another location at the end of the day, if, if need be, uh, and, and, and that data could get back up into the cloud. Or uh, if, if the regular internet connection goes down at the scale house, you know, these are uh, amazing devices that you can use uh, to just basically hook your PC or your laptop that you might be using to ticket with Fastway and get all that data back up into the cloud. So that's that's uh, something that uh, that we really pride ourselves on. So um, looks like, uh, is there any more questions? If anybody has one, looks like Kurt has one. POD for external systems. Kurt says, POD for external systems, please elaborate. Um, so proof of delivery for external systems. So if you have, so again, if you have an existing scale and ticketing system and that system is generating a digital ticket before you print it. So any system that is creating a paper ticket for you has a digital ticket. And usually, usually that's in a database. Perhaps it's in a Microsoft SQL database. Uh, depending on where that ticket is being generated, our proof of delivery could be added on top to your existing system where we take that digital transaction and facilitate it into what you saw today, especially what BJ just showed you, which is the web portal piece and the ability to transact in the apps. So uh, I hope that answers your question, Kurt. I, I'm not sure. Um, I think maybe I might have. If not, please feel free to reach out to me, uh, and I'd, I'd I'd love to have a talk with you. It uh, looks like uh, specifically ticketing from another vendor, right? So I think I explained that. Uh, if it's a web-based system, we could facilitate that ticket. If it's a uh, if it's a transacted uh, ticket at a scale house through through a, a different platform, we could do that as well, Kurt. So uh, D. Jones says, does the current Fastway software allow for the trucks to sign, trucks to sign while on scale FOB at the quarry? Third-party trucks, 
on the mobile app? BJ, I'm going to leave that one to you. I, I think you can answer that. Yeah, so we can. When, so when trucks are on the scale, we can hook up to a signature pad and the trucks that are on the scale, they can take that signature pad at that point and they can sign um, on that signature pad. And that, that then takes their signature and puts it on the ticket. Uh, as far as the third party trucks go on their mobile apps, so if we're doing the in-cab um, in app, the, the, the creating the ticket from the in-cab app, then yes, they will be able to sign on the... Um, on their phones at that time through the mobile app. Awesome. And then Brad Bynum says, if using the Bluetooth beacon, are the beacons mounted permanently to the truck or can they be swapped between trucks? Now that I don't necessarily know the answer to that, but because of the nature of how they're mounted, it's kind of a semi-permanent mount. It looks like there's could be, some of them are actually have adhesives on them. I know you can use, but BJ, do those those don't have to necessarily be assigned, do they? Well, so the the, the the quick question to that is, you know, yes, you can move them. As far as we're concerned, you can move them. You know, if th this beacon is assigned to this truck, that beacon could then eventually be assigned to another truck if that's something that you wanted to do. Um, you know, it, whether or not the, the beacons that you buy are going to be easy to remove or not, I, I'm not sure. But the ones that we have have that strong adhesive and, and you could pull it off, but um, it, it's better if you can leave that beacon with that specific truck, just because, you know, it, it saves you from having to change the ID and stuff like that. But it is possible for you to take the ID with that beacon and associate yeah. it with another truck. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard, Brad. Um, looks, let's see here. Do we have any other questions? None right now. Uh, looks like we still have 27 in the, uh, in the presentation. So I was going to go back to Kathy's original question. You know, I'm sure that you mentioned this, BJ. I'm sorry, I wasn't really tuned in terrible much at the moment um, that you were saying this. But Kathy, if you're still here, uh, the DOT websites are, it seems like a lot of folks are putting their, uh, their requirements on those websites. That might be a good place to start. Or perhaps just a call into the director themselves. Um, this is obviously something that... Uh, it's interesting. It's ebb and flow between state to state with, uh, you know, how much uh, uh, effort they're actually putting into it at this time. I can tell you that state of Tennessee, state of Washington, and Kentucky and others are very active in this process. You know, I'm going to have to get, I'm a member of Texas Aggregate Concrete Association. I'd love to get plugged in with them and, and get an update from Josh and find out what's going on there. Um, okay. Well, Thanks a lot uh, for, for tuning in today, folks. We appreciate it. And uh, we're just changing the industry over here at Fastway. We're, we're doing it with modern technology. We've got a lot of know-how over here. And uh, we appreciate you being with us today. Have a nice day. Thanks, everybody.